everyone, Jared here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to hit your symbols. And as you can see, I have a lot of symbols here that are gonna be great for me to teach this topic with. Um, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is just basic crashing, how to best hit your crash symbol. This is the time you're gonna break your symbol the most. So if you're someone who's, who's broken a symbol before and you wondered why, wondered what you're doing wrong, just listen to this little tip that I'm gonna give you here, okay? Now there's a couple different things that I see drummers doing that are wrong, okay? The first thing is when they set up their cymbals, they're almost like angled away from them because they think it looks cool or they're really, really high up here. So when they hit them, they're like hacking into the edges of them. They wonder like, why is it breaking? And, uh, or what they do is they, they put it close to them but they hit through it. Literally, I'll see drummers like, it's like their sticks became axes and the axes are, and they're trying to like chop wood. That's not how to hit a cymbal. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna kind of glance off the cymbal in one way or the other. So either to the left or to the right. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you here on this cymbal and you can see exactly what it looks like. So that is how you correctly crash a cymbal and that will save you a ton of money. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is cymbal swells. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you what a cymbal swell looks like. Here we go. So I started softly and just played a straight single stroke roll and then got the cymbal to go really, really loud and just hit it once when it was opened up. And it sounds really, really good in like soft songs where you can do that with, sometimes you can use those mallets with the big kind of fuzzy things on the end, uh, kind of marshmallow looking type things. But uh, that's a really good technique to use in certain songs and especially orchestral music and stuff like that. You're definitely gonna need to know how to do that. Okay, the next I wanna talk to you about is hitting the edge of the cymbal, okay? The middle of the cymbal is the bell. Right here, in this section is the bow, and here we have the edge. Now, uh, one thing I like to do, especially in kind of like softer songs and stuff like that, is I'll turn the stick over like this, and I'll just hit the cymbal like that. Now, because we have all these cymbals and they're all very, very similar, uh, you're not hearing much of a difference, but on your cymbal set at home, you're gonna hear a different tone with each cymbal. And so it's a really fun little thing to do for like the quieter parts in the songs and, and um, people will love it when you do it because they're gonna think you're like a, a wizard behind the drum set. Um, okay, another thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the bell of the cymbal. Okay, now generally you'll have a ride cymbal here. I actually have uh, two cymbals stacked up. But what you can do is you can play the bell of the ride, you can play the bell of the hi-hat, um, you can play the bell of any of these cymbals. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So practice hitting the bell of the cymbal. You can hit it with the tip of the stick or the edge of the stick and it'll create two different sounds. But you know, on these cymbals they're very small and all I have is 16 inch crashes here. So the bell was really small. On, on the ride cymbal the bell is a lot bigger so it should be a little bit easier to be more accurate with that. Okay, another thing I wanna talk about is stacking cymbals. Now this is something I like to do generally with a smaller cymbal on top of a bigger cymbal. So like a 14 inch crash on top of a 16 inch crash or a, four, a 12 inch splash on top of a 14 inch crash, whatever, something like that. Um, so what I got here is I've stacked up, I got like a side snare of cymbals. I got, this is a stack right here. It's just two 16 inch crashes and I got another stack here. So let me just play them a little bit for you and show you how it sounds. So 
So that's something you can experiment with. Just practice throwing different cymbals on top of each other and see how they sound. Especially if you've broken a cymbal before, that's a great one to designate as your stack cymbal because it's already broken and if, if it uh, wrecks or gets scratched by stacking, it's no big deal. Okay, so another thing I wanna talk about is cymbal choking. This is something I've done a lesson on in the past, but we're just gonna quickly touch on it again. Now, there's basically two ways to choke a cymbal. The one is with one stick, like this. And the next way is with two sticks, or two hands, like this. Now I'll show you guys how that looks in context with a beat and a fill. And the final thing I wanna talk about is your cymbal angle. You'll see all my cymbals are slightly angled towards me. Now you'll see some drummers actually, you know, angle them completely towards them like this. Okay, now you can choose to do that. A lot of times a, a ride cymbal will be like that because it's easier to hit and easier to hit, hit the bow rather than always hitting the edge. But for me, I like to keep it just slightly angled towards me. And again, this is going back to crashing and the correct way to crash. You don't want it angled away from you because then it's hard to hit it properly, okay? So really take into account the angle of your cymbals because that's gonna make them last longer, which in turn is gonna save you more money. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this lesson. I hope I taught you guys something about how to hit cymbals. Now, as you can see, there's something special going on. We're actually giving away 500 Peisty PST5 crash cymbals, and there's more information at drumio.com, so you just gotta go to the website to check it out. There are only 500 of them, and a ton of them are already gone, and so basically the way it works is once you sign up for Drumio for an annual membership, we ship you a free cymbal. It's ridiculous, it's an absolutely insane deal, it's never ever happened before, ever. And uh, I just love it for you guys to at least check it out. So go to drumio.com, check it out, and maybe I'll see you in the online members area.